Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Pokemon. It's me, Cooper, and today we are going to go into the depths of the Team Plasma base. There you are. Welcome. I was asked by an acquaintance to help with this research. What I desire is to bring out the entirety of Pokemon potential. If I can accomplish that, I don't care what it takes. If it means the strength must be brought out by the interactions between Pokemon and trainers, then so be it. If it means you have to use Merciless Approach like Team Plasmas and force them out of the Pokemon's power, so be it. And yes, if the entire world is destroyed as a result, then so be it. Yeah, you see, you're the scientist. That aside, the reason I have been traveling all over Unova and battling many trainers is because I was testing the viability of this approach to bring out the full strength of Pokemon. In that respect, you've done an amazing job. Well now, tell me. A boss fight where I can't even use all my team and I have to make sure I don't hit level 50. This is going to be extremely hard. I'm at I'm at a point where if I level up just a little bit more, it could screw me over. Now this guy likes steel types, so sadly Nina's not gonna be a good idea. Neither is fake Coco, but fake Coco needs ex well, they both need experience, so whatever. Let's see what you got. It looks like you're ready. Let us begin. The battle with Scientist Colrus. This is going to be a tough one. The added restriction of not overleveling is going to be extremely hard. Magneton. Perfect. This is why I was okay with going with Zoroark, because I happen to have a ground type move. And Magneton, which was drafted this season by Rival Rick, is no levitator, even though it looks like it is, and it totally is in the anime. But it doesn't have levitate. Yeah, Magneton. Rick drafted it, had a Magneton for one battle against me, beat me with it, and then, uh, wow, I couldn't one-shot it. I'm honestly surprised I couldn't one-shot it with Dig. My physical attack stat isn't even bad. I'm honestly surprised that Volt Switch did that much damage. Wow. We're in trouble. Magnezone! Hello, hello. You are a problem. I have an idea. To make sure I don't overlevel in this battle, I'm going to send in my wall rain. And I'm going to get it killed by this boss Pokemon Magnezone. I have to assume that's the boss right there. I like this song. I like the freaking beeps and everything. The beeps and the boops. I like it. Alright. Discharge. That's a really good electric move. And instant death. Tiny, you're my tank and you die. That lets me know what if I have to fight rival Rick. I won't go well. For me, anyway. How do I beat a Magnezone? With Dingle Dial, of course, but the problem with using Dingle Dial is that if it overlevels, or sorry, if it hits level 50, I won't be able to use it for the rest of the battle. So, hopefully, Magnezone is the one worth killing and there's nothing stronger. Alright, I killed Magnezone. Please don't level up from this, because you got Moxie and I want to take full advantage of it. Please don't level up. Okay, good. Thank God you shared with Fake Coco. But he, um, because I got the level up, Behem is worth fighting with the Crunch. Although I should have used my Miss Magius. That would have been a good idea. Damn, this Moxie is going to screw me over. It's going to make me want to stay in. Even though I'm already level 50. Alright, Dingle Dial has reached the point where it's ready for the next rival battle. Cling Clang. Alright. I'm going to let you stay in for this. I don't think you can overlevel off this one thing. But after this Pokemon, I have to switch you out. Level 52, it has an air balloon? What? That's awesome. All right, so this guy uses a competitive item, which I don't allow in my series because it would ruin my uh, rivals, my com uh, casual rivals. And thanks to all these Moxie boosts, that uh, air balloon does not matter. All right, let's see if I accidentally overlevel. Please don't. Please do not. Do not do that. Ah! Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Matang. Sadly, I don't have a Pokemon very good at fighting Matang. But Miss Magia should do alright. It won't be a good fight. Matang was drafted this season. In fact, all the pseudo legendaries were. But rival Steven is the one that grasped Matang. Lucky guy. Do I go for the will o or do I just Shadow Balls? I don't think two Shadow Balls can kill it since it's not weak to it in this game. Well, this is a little risky, but I'm going to go for it. Yeah, I can miss. It has 75 accuracy, so got to watch yourself when using that. 
Agility, I'm not really scared of you getting speed boosted if it means your attack stat went down. Alright, and now we could try out those Shadow Balls to see if I could have done half its health. My uh, guesstimation was not. Yeah, I was right. I can't. Even with the burn, I couldn't do half. All it's doing is raising its speed. Maybe it's an Iron Head flinching Matang. It's possible. That's how we find out. It's a Meteor Masher! That's gonna... Oh, wait, wait. With the burn, maybe it won't kill me. But that's a super powerful attack. With the burn, it can't kill me with that move. That's the good news. The bad news... Oh my god, it died! I thought my Shadow Ball wasn't even gonna do that much, but it did amazing damage. And Nina grows to level 49. Ooh, big stat boost. Magneton. You know what? Even though I really wish you could finish it off, I don't think you can. I'm gonna let Fake Coco do it. Pretty sure this is his final Pokemon anyway. Yo, Fake Coco, no disguise necessary. Magneton is all he's got left. I'm more psyched than I've ever been. I could still go on. I'm pretty sure this fight's over unless you have an air balloon. Or you have Magnet Rise or whatever, which I highly doubt. Try attack. That would have killed me. If the Volt Switch did this much damage, the Try Attack would have killed me. I watched Rival Rick use Try Attack on a Dawn fan and with a crit managed to win the battle. Fake Coco reaches level 49. Oh, Jesus! That stat boost is legendary level. Oh my god, Fake Coco wants to learn Punishment. Funny enough, that's actually a pretty interesting dark move that I will not learn. I already know what I want my final two moves to be. And sadly, one is an egg move, which we can get uh, thanks to the hacking tool, which I'll get by, before my next battle. And the other one is a TM. Uh, yes, I want to get stronger. You believe that Pokemon with the respect of love. Yep. Excuse me for repeating myself, but if it will make Pokemon stronger, I don't care what it takes. If interacting with Pokemon can increase their powers only a certain point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But look, dude, I beat you. Yeah, if I beat you with relationships, then maybe not having a conscience is the wrong thing. Good luck in my battle. So, he's given me the okay to go after Kyurem. Which means he's probably going to make this guy back off over here. Let me see my team. I need to make sure I don't overlevel. We have two level 50s now. I only have four Pokemon left I'm allowed to use. And damn, are they damaged. Wish there was a healer around here. I would love to help you, Kyurem. Dude, I'm trying, bro. I'm trying. What? You beat Chorus? Well, I pretend to be strong, but I don't have any Pokemon. Yeah, you coward. Oh, I should probably heal. I don't I don't like not healing. It just doesn't feel right. Ooh, I only have two Moomoo Milks left. Yeah, I did not come prepared. That is for sure. Funny enough, two Moomoo Milks is all I need. It's exactly what I needed. Guys, I am stressed. I don't know what, if you guys can feel it, but I have to be so careful in this next room. Ho ho ho! Hey there. That blasted Colrus! That fool is far too committed to pure science. This is how he repays me for making him the boss of Team Plasma? How dare he put his personal intellectual curiosity before our ultimate mission of conquering Unova? How, uh, how fortunate for you. Few get to be the sole audience member for one of my speeches. Team Plasma will use its knowledge and technology to take Kyurem's true power to its absolute limits and freeze the Unova region. The terrified people in Pokemon will bow as Team Plasma's no at my feet. Alright, I get it. You're old and you're cranky. Kyurem is empty being the remnants of a certain Pokemon when it's split into Reshiram and Zekrom. Oh my god, it's a Sheninja. You know how, like, when Ninjask... Oh, uh, not Ninjask, but, um... Oh, God, what's the baby form called? I forgot. I swear, I, I used to say... I used to use it, so I don't remember its baby form. Whatever. Sheninja and Ninjask, how they broke apart. Kyurem is the same thing. It's the empty shell of the two Pokemon. Lord Gestus, Kyurem has been transferred. It's finally here. The wonderful era in which I am the absolute ruler of Unova has finally arrived. I'll let you take care of this. Yo. Wait, you're one of the Shadow Trier, right? Tell me about Purloin that was stolen in a Spurdia City. Very well. This might be it. What? You just happened to- What? You took it off that lady? I stole this Pokemon five years ago in Asperia. 
So it seems likely that this is the Pokemon you're talking about. W what? Don't mess with me. That's someone else's Pokemon. Ah, I feel sorry for Pokemon. They're ruled by Pokeballs in the whims of their trainers. Lord Gestis spoke of Pokemon Liberation two years ago simply for his own ambitions, but if his plans has su had succeeded, many Pokemon would have been saved. This Leopard, well, you knew it as Purloin. If I had been released, it might have returned to you. Well then, you there. I won't let you interfere with Lord Gestis' plans. All right. The Shadow Triad. The member I need to defeat. Three Pokemon. Starting with a Ponyard, a very weak Pokemon, but it's level 49, which is where I'm at. I'm pretending to be a Dingle Dial, but I'm actually not a Dingle Dial. I actually just have to go for a straight up dig. Kind of awkward. <laughs> kind of awkward to go for dig, but it's what needs to be done. Alright, let's see how much I can do with dig. I know if a Crocodile actually did this, it'd be dead, but that's not what happened. That Ponyard's probably thinking, holy crap, I took a dig from a Crocodile? I'm incredible, and you are incredible, but that's not what actually happened. I'm pretty sure foul play will be enough. Yeah. It's like, but Cooper, he four times resists it. Yeah, well, I got a crit. And that probably was the only reason why it worked. Ponyard again. You see, this is just not the best matchup. Oh, Jesus. I, I guess technically Embryo is the only Pokemon that can really deal with them and not struggle. Ponyard. All right. Oh, God, I only have one superpower left. I hope they don't have a Bisharp. <laughs> I hope they have a Leopard after this. Alright. We defeated yet another Ponyard. And Absol! That is going to be tough to beat when I literally lowered my defense stat and it can learn Psycho Cut. But if my Mega Horn hits, even with a lowered attack stat, I believe that Absols are not very tanky and can die. I was correct. Your ultimate Pokemon, Absol, was a waste. It doesn't bother us a bit if our stolen Pokemon cry or beg. Dude, you're weird. You're so weird. You're not done yet. Oh, I'm sorry. You get bored back there? Think I can't beat all of you? I can beat all of you. But you dare doubt that. Oh, where's my ether? Sorry, I need to get my superpower back. If I'm only allowed to use four Pokemon in this fight due to my own ruling, I need to make sure those four Pokemon are ready. You. We swore to be loyal to Lord Gestis since he saved us. Who are you guys? I know there's some uh, theories out there that these are the three first gym leaders from the first game. The fire guy, the grass guy, and the water guy. But it seems unlikely. Dingle Dial again. Do you all just have two Ponyards and you're going to have a dumb Pokemon after it? If that's the case, I'm just going to U-turn. I don't even want to be here. Alright, so two Ponyards and then our actual boss. So, first guy had an Absol. What does the second guy have? That is the real question. Alright, none of my Pokemon except for Embryo can actually fight a Ponyard. Scary face. You see, that's a great idea to lower my speed stat. 100% agree with it. Um, I'm gonna kill you. Doesn't make a difference. Oh wow, it actually is faster than me. I guess Scary Face is two stages, but it still doesn't seem likely that it could outspeed me. Being that Ponyards are slow tanks. They hit really hard. I guess that would be a bruiser then. Alright, 500, 500. Bonette! Finally a Pokemon that my Ms. Magius can fight. Problem. Bonette's... Actually, it shouldn't be a problem. Bonettes don't have good special defense. Or HP. They just have really high attack and good special attack. Level 51, though. That could make this a problem. Come on, Mina. Show everyone your true power. That's right. The mighty one-shot of Mina. Lots of experience. Ponyard number two. Okay, well, I guess you figured that there's no point in fighting Embryo. With Ponyard number two. Alright, Embryo, clean up. You're, you're basically my cleanup squad because you gotta kill all these baby Ponyards. You're the only guy in my team who could do it, you know, quickly. I mean, Zora could do it, but it would take two attacks. Skullipede only needs one. Crocodile could also do it and just sweep these guys' teams, but sadly, Crocodile's a little bit busy, you know, being level 50 and all. Alright. 
We defeated it. yet another shadow. Lots of money for defeating some shadows. Listen well, the only thing we want is the world Lord Gestus desires. You're weird. I have no problem with you, but this is for Lord Gestus. Alright. The final member of the Shadow Triad. In the first game, I always wanted to just beat the crap out of these guys during the main story mode. They didn't give me my wish. Oh, I should have remembered two Ponyards. Should have switched. Oh, I guess it's fine. I'll just go for a quick old U-turn. Just let U-turn do the work. And now that it came back to me, I will uh, send out my Embryo. And Embryo will clean it up with a nice old Mega Horn. Hell, probably an Aqua Tail could kill it. Okay, all they want to do is scary face me. Is this one going to be a slow one, though, and let me outspeed it? I'll go for Mega Horn. I like, I like not missing. The fact that I'm so accurate with this move feels so good. Alright, 500, 500, Ponyard again. Yep, I'll stay in. Embryo, you are the Ponyard Slayer. I want you to remember that. Superpower! And just like that, all of the weakest Pokemon have been defeated. One of them had Absol, one of them had Banette. What does the final Triad Man have? Level 51 is pretty intimidating though, I'll give him that. Excelgore, a Pokemon I used back in Black and White 1. One of the fastest Pokemon to ever exist and a bug type that beats most of my Pokemon. But not Nina. Not Nina. Alright, Excelgore, let's see how strong you really are. Giga Drain is not the smartest attack, I'll tell you that for free. Yeah, the literally nothing's gonna outspeed this Excelgore. Not Jolteon, not anything. What? We got a crit! Which means Nina's going to level 50, everybody. She is ready for the final rival battle. The Shadow Triad has been defeated. Even if I lose, Lord Gestus simply has to win. No matter. The only thing you can do is watch Lord Gestus and Kai use Chiron to freeze Unova solid. That's all. You. I'll return the Pokemon to you. Considering what Lord Gestus is about to do, I have no further need of it. Hey, Cooper? If we let Team Plasma do whatever they want, there'll be more sad Pokemon like Purloin and Kyurem. Alright. The final battle is right down there. But sadly, my team is too high on levels. We do not have the time. Well, not time. We have the time. We do not have the experience to fight the, the last one. So, what we're going to do instead, with our last three Pokemon that need experience, if I need to rare candy, I will. But, I believe there was one trainer back here I left alone. One guy I was very... Or a gal, I can't remember. That I was kind to. And just decided not to fight. So, let's go fight them. If there's a path to them. I don't even know if there is a path. Hmm. Hold up, let me see if I can get to them. It wasn't you, right? No, it was that guy over there. I thought I did fight that guy, actually. Never mind. There might not be any more trainers and I might be forced to rare candy. But, I mean, at the end of the day, I could just try this to find out for sure. For sure. I might as well find out for sure, guys. Okay, I did it. So, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. Next episode, we will be fighting the boss, Gestus and Kyurem. But, I have to get to level 50. So, on screen, let's do some rare candying. I never thought I'd ever have to use rare candies, but I just ran out of trainers. Our final stat boost will be... Embryo, level 50. Decent stat boost, good speed. That's about it. Embryo wants to learn Rock Climb. Funny enough, that used to be an HM. I will not learn Rock Climb. Oxide, level 50. Uh, not the worst, not the worst stat boost. And Fake Coco, level 50. 
Ooh, good stat boost. That's a good one. All right, guys. Our team is officially ready for the level 50 week 10 rival battle. I will see you all in the next episode when I'm done with that rival battle. Wish me luck as I'm trying to fight for positivity in the rival's draft. Bye-bye, everybody.